Welcome to Spatial Looper, the spatially aware clip-based live looping control surface for Apple Vision Pro. We start by running the MIDI Quick Connect utility. This will make Spatial Looper discoverable by other core MIDI devices. For further customization, you can access the MIDI setup from this main page. Let's now activate Spatial Looper's virtual environment. Using computer vision, Spatial Looper automatically locates the configured devices in your setup. Your hands become loop triggers. They can be enabled or disabled with the flick of the wrist. The virtual environment also opens the scene interface. Place it wherever you are comfortable with it. To use the loop trigger system, we need to globally arm Spatial Looper. Let's enable our loop trigger and start recording. An interface to interact with the recorded clips is automatically placed above each instrument. To record an alternative clip, we can simply start playing. Space Looper can detect on which instrument we are currently playing. To record on a different instrument, simply start playing. While a hand is interacting with an instrument, it is assigned a set of controls for this track. The red X discards the current recording. The yellow back button restarts the recording from its start point. To stop recording without letting go, use the green checkmark button. The left and right hands can simultaneously record on different instruments. Clips can be triggered with a tap and stopped with the stop button to their left. Each hand's recording controls are automatically mapped to the corresponding instrument. Multiple hands can interact with the same instrument simultaneously. If the hands are switched, the controls are automatically handed over. Space Looper also supports scenes. They can be created by pressing the plus button in the scene interface. Scenes are created as is from the currently playing clips. The scenes are displayed under the plus button and show the number of active clips they contain. They can be recalled with a tap. Scenes can be deleted with a swipe to delete gesture. The clip slots presented at each device represent the scene enabled. If we modify the scene in Ableton, for example by deleting the second clip here, you can see how Space Looper reflects this change. The same goes for the clip color, so if we make this clip green for example. Finally, the session state is also synchronized, so if changes happen from other devices or directly from within Ableton, we can see how Space Looper also reflects the change.